asked to simplify each exponential expression. For number one, we have five squared, or five raised to the second power, where the base is five and the exponent is two, which means this is equal to two factors of five. So for number one, five squared is equal to five times five. Again, because the base is five and the exponent is two, we have two factors of five, five times five is equal to 25. Number two, we have two thirds raised to the third power, or two thirds cubed. Here the base is two thirds and the exponent is three, and therefore this is equal to three factors of two thirds. So two thirds cubed is equal to two thirds times two thirds times two thirds. Now we multiply the numerators and denominators. So two times two times two is equal to eight. Three times three times three is equal to 27. Two thirds raised to the third power, or two thirds cubed, is equal to eight twenty-sevenths. Now let's take a look at number three and number four together. Notice for number three, we have negative two in parentheses, raised to the fourth power, which means the base is negative two and the exponent is four, so here we have four factors of negative two. Looking at number four, notice how we have negative and then two raised to the fourth power. The exponent of four is only attached to the positive two, so another way to read this would be to say the opposite of two raised to the fourth. So here we have a negative and then four factors of positive two. So again, for number three, because the negative two is in parentheses, and we have an exponent of four, this is equal to four factors of negative two, which would be negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, which equals positive 16. Notice your product is positive because we have an even number of negatives. Now for number four, the negative two is not in parentheses, so we can think of this as the opposite of positive two raised to fourth. This expression is equivalent to negative, and then positive two in parentheses raised to fourth. So when we expand this, we have negative, and then four factors of positive two. Notice this product is negative 16. So number three is equal to positive 16, and number four is equal to negative 16. And now for number five, notice in parentheses, we have two x squared, and then we have an exponent of three. So for the exponent of three, the base is two x squared, which means we have three factors of two x squared. So to expand this, we'd have two x squared times two x squared times two x squared. Well, two times two times two is equal to eight, now looking at the x's, we have two factors of x here, here, and here, giving us a total of six factors of x, and therefore this product is equal to eight x to the sixth. If we're one or two, we could also expand x squared and write this as two times x times x times two times x times x times two times x times x, which of course would give us the same product. We'd have eight, then x times x times x times x times x times x does give us x to the sixth. So number five is equal to eight x to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.